This video is a companion to the Wireless Designer Quick Start video. If you have not seen that one, please watch it first. Now let's do a firmware update on the Venue 2. The system requirements are either a PC running Windows 7, 8, or 10, or a Mac running Yosemite or Al Capitan. The Wireless Designer USB adapter is only required for the Mac, not for the PC. Let's launch it. I get an alert box. I can choose not to be warned anymore in the future by checking this little box here. I'm going to select Open. And notice it's now listening for a USB device. So normally I would say connect via USB. However, since we're doing a firmware update, I want to do update firmware in DR or Venue 2. I will select that. I will not check recovery mode. That's for something different. I'm going to click Next. It's going to find the Venue 2 on USB. I'll click Next again. Now it wants a path to the firmware update, which I downloaded from the Electrosonics website. Let's click here. This will allow me to find it. I downloaded it to my desktop. So here is the .update file for Wireless Designer. Click Open. And that's exactly what Wireless Designer needs. That's the firmware file for the Venue 2. I will click Next. It's going to look at the receiver and, and find all the modules, which it did. And there is a warning here. And the warning says, make certain that your computer will not go into hibernation or sleep mode during this update, especially if you're doing it from a laptop. Make certain that the power cables for the device and computer cannot be accidentally unplugged. And make certain that the USB cable between the device and the computer cannot accidentally disconnect. I'm going to start the update. And it gives you progress here, all of the things that are happening, and it will update. Notice, if you look up at the dialog box, not only is it updating the firmware within the Venue 2, but also all of the modules. And you can see what it's currently updating under Status, and it can show you also what is up to date and what needs to be updated. So it's very handy. You can watch the progress as it uh, moves along. For the sake of time, I cut all of the wait time out so you could see the process. Okay, now that the firmware update is complete, we get an alert box and we can choose OK to finish the update wizard. And now we can finish here as well. And we now have new firmware not only in the Venue 2, but also all of the modules within the Venue 2. So everything was done simultaneously. And that is how you do the firmware update in a Venue 2.